Hello everyone, I am Kiran Kumar from Nature of Physics. Today's topic is one of the important short answer from the motion in a straight line. See student, here considering a body or particle moving along the straight line, its initial position is A considering its velocity, initial velocity V1, time is equal to 0. Its final velocity V2 after the time t2 is equal to t time taken from initial to final position is t so change in velocity give acceleration a and displacement is a student so asking in the question v average is equal v1 plus v2 divided by 2 that is average velocity okay student so that for this here i'm going to use the two kinematic equation student so first one is v is equal to u plus a t is the basic formula okay and then continuation here the values are replacing here final velocity is given v2 and initial velocity is given v1 okay according to the question plus a t student rearranging the equation that is v2 minus v1 which is equal to a t okay so that at which is equal to v2 minus v1 is taken as equation number one okay and second relation i'm going to use here that is s is equal to ut plus of at square so that s is equal to we need to replace displacement yes which is equal to in this equation time is remains common so that u plus half into a t student notice this and t from rhs side to lhs side s yes, divided by t which is equal to initial velocity u is written as v1 plus half into a t student now i can write this is equation number two notice one thing here i'm writing initial velocity is equal to v1 and final velocity v is equal writing here v2 okay student and equation number one in equation number two student so that s by t is equal to v average rate of change of displacement is called velocity v bar that is average velocity okay student and then here replacing these values s by t is v average v average bar which is equal to yes v1 as usually plus half into at value is equal to homo student v2 minus v1 now lcm v average which is equal to v1 plus v2 minus v1 divided by 2 one more step written so v average which is equal to 2v1 plus v2 minus v1 divided by 2 student so that v bar average which is equal to 2v1 minus v1 is v1 plus v2 divided by 2 is the answer for the given question please do like and subscribe our channel nature of physics